Hey guys, Mobile Medic here. Welcome back to Skyhaven. In the last episode, we tried to get our efficiency rating up, and I believe we did so pretty well. Uh, we're starting out with $36,990, but we are also $300,000, well, $314,300 in the hole. We're going to see what we can do to get that up a bit, and... We're going to do that right now. In today's episode, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to have uh, get done, but I do know we're going to try to get some research done. Figuring we may look and see what we can get going to help boost our efficiency. But our primary concern is getting as much money as humanly possible to get out of debt. So we're sitting at the 37,000 range and boom, just got hit with three grand in bills. But, oh, we got a plane. Let's cancel that out. And, ooh, big plane and little plane. So, yeah. Anyways, we're doing the large ramp service hangar right now. We'll probably do the steel fuel tank storage. Not 100% sure. or we'll, Well, we aren't going to be able to get that done today anyways. We'll probably do the bus stuff. Oh my gosh. Alright. Let's throw that one there. And then just start tossing planes at ramps. There we go. <laughs> I do remember what we were trying to get done now. Um, trying to get here, I believe it is, get the radio equipment done, so we'll, we'll roll that next, try to get it done as fast as we can. Airliners aren't getting serviced on time, they're waiting on boarding, okay. And that's coming from there. Well, let's see if we can remedy this just a little bit. We can come to there. There we go. You think they'll be happy with that? I don't know what's going on there. There we go. And we'll bulldoze that entire section. We will get this work. We will get this to work. There we go. Not pretty, but it's going to have to do. There we go. All right, I'm counting that. Another lesson in efficiency. <laughs> not really. Um, got three planes that did not like what happened to them, and also we got our large service hangar, so we need to research the ATC radio tower to boost the amount of planes that I can have on my airfield. As soon as we get a plane out, Let's drop that plane, and as soon as we get one out, we will accept that one. So I hope everybody's doing good today. I know I'm four minutes into the video, hadn't said anything about it. Uh, I had a pretty good weekend. We went and my wife got to do a craft show uh, type thing. So she's super excited about all that. And... This may be the last episode I do for a couple of days. I'm not sure. Uh, I may be able to record another one and get it to get it scheduled to go live. But I'm gonna be out of pocket for a few few days, so that's unfortunate. But it is what it is. Okay, so this this one here. I'm going to unlink, oh, hold up, we'll link this to just these, and 
and and let's upgrade this one. Okay. So that's that. Let's actually go in here to this one. Let's sell off all these vehicles. Buy all new ones. And then link him uh, link it to here. There we go. Alright, cool. Boom. And we are still actually above what we started out the day on till we get another hit from uh our bills. Bill collector's gonna come in and be like, hey, give me all your money. Kinda how the government is. Hey, give me all your money. I know you earned it, but uh I earned it too. Oh yeah, how'd you earn it? Ah, uh, we just did. But hey, it is what it is. Unfortunately, that's the price we pay for living in America. But, still a better country than uh, some of the other places out there that would completely eradicate you for having an opinion like that. So, yeah, I'll take what I can get. Uh, we are bringing in the planes, and I'm not here to get political. I'm not going to get political on my channel. Uh, any political stuff I'm gonna squash right then and there because we're not we're not here to get political we're here to have fun I have my views you have your views it's okay for you to have different views than me oh yeah that's a twenty two hundred dollar plane I know it said twenty one ninety nine I'm rounding up but yeah um that's my view on it it's okay if you have a different view than me. We all work together for the same goal, and that's to survive in this country and in this world and make things happen. Hopefully good things. Me, I'm a paramedic. Been one for almost five years now. Wow. <laughs> that's hard to believe. All right, we're gonna spend twenty-two grand on more fuel. Means we are in the hole compared to where we started out, but we're also gonna be full on fuel. So, yeah, I'll take that. But anyways, let's get these planes all fixed up. I believe I'll, I will record a few episodes to go into today, uh, to go and get scheduled in today. So if you are watching this, the day that it's going to come out is going to be on Tuesday. Tuesday, for those of you who don't like how I say things. Uh, tomorrow there'll be a This Land is My Land episode come out. It's a pretty good one, actually. I, I had some things happen in it. But, yeah. Um, let's see. Are we going to clear? Are we going to go back? No, we're not going to go back over. Dang. I was hoping we were going to clear the 36 again. We'll throw that there. As soon as we get a plane out, which looks like we're getting several out, we'll start putting some planes out there. There we go. Yeah, uh, it was a pretty fun little episode to record. I had a blast doing it. The passenger services, we got bus operation. Research that. We'll get that done. No, we won't. We will not get that done this episode, or yeah, this this day in the episode. I may do a two part episode on this. I think I will. All right, I'm gonna make this a little bit longer of a video. This is gonna be a two day episode. But yeah, so that episode of this land is my land. It's it gets a little sketchy at uh, a couple points in time. I 
I ain't gonna lie. Thought I was gonna die. All right, so we got some new contracts. Let's take a look. Go with our signed airline. Sabina is our new plane. Our new contractor. We got. Oh, hey. Get rid of that one, that one. Get rid of that. So we've got two available flights. Actually, more than that, but. All those can be broken. I'm not going to because. Oh, wow. All of those need to be broken. But I don't have any new flights available, so I'm not going to be messing around with that. Okay. So let's do the 1400 and 1400. There's that one. That one can't be done there. But it can be done here if I change that around. Okay. That's all I can do right now. I'll take that, though. Make sure I hit okay on it. I did. Alright, cool. I could break a lot of those contracts. I'm not going to right now because they're making me a lot of money. For our airfield buildings, we are going to get a radio ATC. So that should boost how many people. I don't know if that boosts it or not, actually. Anyways, let's get it going. We'll uh, pick up another contract for another... couple of uh cargo drops and then we're in the hole like crazy now but from what i see in here airport's running the hole anyways so i'm gonna see y'all in the next day it's gonna be the same episode so stick around and i'll see you in a minute all right here we go we're at the next day and we are Seven grand in the hole. And we've accepted our first couple of flights of the morning. First three flights, actually. And we've got our first, I think, eight flights coming in. So we can hold 30 aircraft on our uh, airfield now. That's wonderful. That means that we're not going to run out of uh, space for them now. Which I'm completely happy about. Let's go ahead and get the tarmac approved. Then we'll look at maybe con uh, contract negotiation or express air cargo, something like that. Maybe some. Uh... Nah, we ain't gonna do that because that costs money. We're trying to make money, not lose it. All right, looks like we got new contracts for Royal Aviation Company. They're needing water dispensing services. Uh, all that's optional, though, so... Huh. I think... I think tonight we make some changes. Because that's going to be pretty good, uh... That's going to be pretty good money for us. We need to get that contract negotiation then... That way we can tell them, hey, we we can't provide water services. Okay, we'll throw him there. Get that. Let me check and see. We're so close to the cleaning services. We're not going to have it today. All right, well, if we're not going to have that today, let's get contract negotiation today. And then we'll work on the other for the next episode. We're probably two, one to two episodes out from being able to fulfill the cleaning service requirement. But once we can, that's going to be money in the bank. I know our planes that are coming in over here, they're, it's taking them longer to get to the services that they need. But I'll say this. 
we're getting them out a lot quicker. I'll take the penalty for that. Well, hello. That's a high-end job. There we go. And we're probably going to have some planes popping up right here, here in a second. See, we're sitting at 19 planes on the run or on the field right now, but we're going to be getting a bunch more here soon, especially with all of these filled up. I think that's 20 lots. But then if you have them sitting here on the ta uh, taxiway, it really eats into your being able to get planes in and out. All right, so we got tarmac unlocked. We're not going to be doing anything with it just yet. We need to make a bunch of money, which we made ten grand so far. Got contract negotiation. All right, so we're not going to mess with any of that. We are going to go here to propeller error, propeller error service ramps, and get that done. Uh, we'll also be looking into the airlift baggage uh, stuff and the fuel trucks and then electric power pumps. Uh, we'll do that later on, though, because we're not needing it right now. And that's $2,000 just about. So we're making, we're making money back, which is a plus. We're... We're bleeding fuel, but we're making the money back, so I'm not going to complain too bad on that. Alright, so we're up to almost 15 grand. Which is a far sight better than where, we're, where we were sitting at the start of the day. We may get into the 20... Shoot, we may hit. 30,000 a day. We'll still probably be under what we started the in, the episode out for, the entire episode out for, but we'll be uh, better off than we were when we started the day, I do believe. Unless we have to have a massive fuel uh, order come in. But I don't, I don't foresee that happening right now. All right, so we are still rocking and rolling. Getting all these planes in and out of here in a nice orderly fashion. I'm glad I don't have to tell them, hey, taxi via Hotel Charlie Lima, the runway 31 left or whatever. Glad I don't have to do that. Fun fact, the number on the runway, the reason that both uh, ends of the runway are not the same, if you're not a pilot, you probably may or may not know that, uh, or an aficionado or anything, but the reason the numbers aren't the same at both ends of the runway is because the runway is actually named off of the compass bearing. So runway 31 is runway, or is at bearing 310, which is... Not the same as, can't remember what it would be uh, off the tip of my uh, hat if it was through one. So, say runway 36 is 360. The opposite of that would be 180. 18. So, you'd have runway 36 and runway 18. And if uh, the only reason you'll have a left or a right would be if you have two runways that are parallel. So, fun fact of the day for y'all. While we sit here and close out our evening. And looks like we're going to end up needing to order some stuff. And we're going to be in the hole again. But we'll do three orders of that. We're still not in the hole with fuel, so that's a good thing. Fuel's the expensive stuff. We are making a killing, though.
And we're getting some big planes coming in. That's nice. And it is 7 o'clock. So we're starting out the day... <laughs> I'm not going to buy fuel right now. We're starting out the day higher than what we left off with, though. So that's plus, or that's a massive plus. It's a massive win for us. Even if I was to buy fuel right now, if I bought 30,000 gallons, I'd still be in the plus. But we're about to take a massive hit with our loans. So... There's a good chance that, yeah, we're going to be in the red at the end of the day, most likely. And let's go ahead and, yeah, hey, we didn't go in the red. Don't know how, but we didn't. So, we were in the green for everything that we did. And that's after buildings and stuff like that. We didn't do any construction. This is all upkeep and stuff, so I think we did pretty good. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out, helps the channel out, and when you hit the little bell notification, it lets you know when I put a new video up. I appreciate y'all watching. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe, and as always, I'll see you in the next episode.